Hi, my name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and I hope you're doing okay. Today, I'll be taking a look at Hornet Harmonic by Hornet Plugins. So, let's oge! Hornet Harmonic is an AUV3 automatic equaliser that focuses on removing inharmonic frequencies from your audio tracks, improving clarity. Acoustic instruments and complex sounds often carry a mix of harmonic and inharmonic elements. While the harmonics enrich your sound, the inharmonic frequencies create unpleasant sounds. Traditionally, removing these unwanted frequencies required manual equalization. It's tedious and time consuming. Harmonic revolutionizes this process with real time analysis and automatic filtering, making it the perfect in harmonic equalizer for your audio needs. Hornet Harmonic is available on the App Store for free and will run in demo mode until you decide to purchase the full version as an in-app purchase for $11.99. It's also available on desktop for Windows and Mac at $34.99. Okay, so let's take a look at how this thing works. So here we are in Logic, and what I've done here, I've got one, two, three, four, five tracks. I've recorded a guitar in the first track and some vocals in the second track. Then I have uh, three instances of the Logic players, a piano player, a drummer, and a bass player. And I've gone ahead up the top here and put the chords in so it all matches up. Now, I've intentionally gone in here and recorded this guitar and vocal, and it's not optimum best, right? So I've used a Rode pod mic. It's a it's a dynamic mic and put it at the 12th fret for the guitar, but I've, you know, this room's not really well treated. Uh, so I've tried to sit in a position where I'm going to get a lot of reflections and we use this uh, app to try and pull out some of these inharmonic frequencies. So I'm going to shut up and then play this track through and then we'll take a look at what it's done to these two tracks and uh, show you how it all works. All right, let's oge. Okay, right, now let's take a look at what's going on here. I'm going to mute these uh, extra tracks here, and we're going to mute the vocal track, and we're going to focus on this guitar track. Let's bring it back here, and we'll bring in our plug-in section down the bottom. Now, you see I've got a chroma verb on here, so just that's all I've got is a reverb. There's nothing else, and I had Hornet off there. So let's turn it on and see what happens now. So when you double-click on the app, I'm going to go into controls first and reset. Now, this is something you can do at any time. Let's talk about the controls here. So you have a load button, a save button, so you can save presets. You have this spectrum button and controls. Let's go up full screen. So there's nothing more if we go up full screen. Now, in controls here, this is where we can actually uh, decide how much of the effect we have on here. We can decide the auto learn mode. So you can have it on stop or auto. On auto, it will go for about 10 seconds by itself and then stop. Or you can just hit on stop and it's when you stop playing, it will stop. So we'll just leave it to auto. Now, what's wonderful here is we have the option to decide 
uh, the lower limit and the upper limit. So you might not want to, you know, you want to might retain all of the low end up to a certain point, up to like 100 hertz or something. You can do that here. So you can decide how much gets omitted from this. Then we have the delta, which will show you how much, what has been actually removed from the the uh, the file. So the inharmonic frequencies, what has been removed. And then we have a biset a bi-set bypass and a reset switch. So when you come back over to Spectrum, it's sitting here waiting to analyze. So it's just waiting for some input data. Now remember, this is an in-app purchase. So if you just download it for free, you're gonna get to uh, use it for 30 seconds, then you'll get a, a little warning and then it will go back to usual. So you can get to try it out uh, before you buy the in-app purchase, all right? So now we've, we've got this track solo. This is the guitar. And I'm going to hit play and it will start analyzing this and then it will give us a result of the inharmonic frequency. So let's hit play. So you can see it already working here. And we're getting some results. And it's done. So that is done. And if you want to keep this, you'd say you want to uh, keep this setting, uh, best to go and hit save. So you can go and save this preset. So when you come back, just in case you lose it, if you come back to your mix and you want to keep this in here and then add your own uh, uh, EQ, or, I mean, you can come in here. I would, you know, even take a screenshot of this and then you can apply this to your own EQ. So you don't have to keep this set up here. So there's that option as well. So let's go and hit play and show you what's going on. Uh, we'll come back here. We'll turn on this little uh, loop thing. So we, when we hit play, we're hearing the music straight away. And I'm going to go over to our controls and we're going to bypass it initially and hit play. I'll shut up and uh, we'll click between them. You should be able to hear a difference. Now, if you can't hear a difference, that's because, you know, these are these are very minor frequencies. Now, I'm going to hit the delta here and show you exactly what's being removed, which is very interesting. Let's hit play. So this is what's being removed. You can see these uh, Q peaks here. So a lot of this mid and this around this 200 section here is being uh, scooped out of there. Now you can come in here and decide the, the amount. So I can pull this right down and you can see that's pulling back. So what you're going to find is in a mix, this is where it's really important. Now, again, these are very small frequencies, inharmonic frequencies that are being removed. But in a mix, this is where it's going to make a difference because when you're EQing, this is taking out those inharmonic sounds and making more room for your whole mix when you're EQing the rest of your tracks. Now, this can also be used on a master track as well. So on your final track, we'll do that as well. Let's go over to um, our vocal track here and show you on this one. So we'll unsolve and mute this and we'll solo this vocal track now in this vocal track we'll just uh, set this loop over here I have set uh, Xvox so we'll turn on Xvox turn it off and turn on uh, harmonic go over here and reset this and it's again it's listening so let's hit play I'll shut up so beautiful so lovely sweet touch so gently I okay so it's finished it's finished it's bizzo now
Um, so there we go. We can see what's being taken out here. So a whole lot of this mid to high end kind of stuff along here. And we can come in and decide. Let's listen to actually what's being removed. So we'll bring this back here. Hit play. We'll hit delta. So beautiful. So lovely. Sweet touch. So gently. I feel you inside me. You let me be so beautiful, so lovely. Sweet touch, so gently. And what's going to happen by doing this is you are getting a clean and more polished sound. Now, I know you probably, I would be listening to this on headphones. Trust me, I would seriously be doing that so you can hear this. Now, these aren't going to be huge, subtle, you know, massive differences. This is going to blow your brains out. You still want to do some EQing and all that kind of stuff. This is just pulling out, it's found these inharmonic frequencies and pulling them out. And again, you have the power to decide how much. This is quite a bit that I've got in here. I can somewhere like that's going to be nice. Now, let's go back and we'll just kill this. So we've got both of them running now. Let's just hear them together. So beautiful, so lovely. Sweet touch, so gently. I feel you inside me. Now, obviously, you're probably sitting there going, but this doesn't mean much. What's it all going to uh, matter? You know, these are individual tracks. Where it matters is in the final mix when all these are put together, those frequencies that are being taken out are going to make that polish and make this stuff stand out in your overall mix. Now, when I first played this at the start of the show, I didn't have this turned on. So now we're going to go in and see how much of a difference it is with the rest of the band playing. Let's unmute all of these. And uh, I think it's going to pop so much more. Now, I've probably turned up the vocals a little bit more than what they were because we had an, an effect on there. So we had Xvox on there as well. Let's just play it without uh, Xvox and without the reverb. And then we'll bring the reverb in. I, I don't know about you, but I can hear that immediately. When we're playing that just with the guitar and the rest of it, and I'll turn this off and on. Let's do that one more time. So we've got it off to start with. It's just cutting through that little bit more. It sounds nice. I love this. I'm going to bring in the reverb on this guitar. Okay, so let's uh, jump over here. We're going to close this out and bring up our mixer because you can put this on your final track as well. So we go to our stereo out track. We'll hit the plus down here. And where it says mastering, we can add a track here and add in Hornet Harmonic. And now let's go back to the start. We'll open this now. Open it up. We'll close this and open this up. So it's ready to analyze. We'll just clear it, make sure we reset, and we'll hit play. And 
now we've got this mix here. And you can see what's here, what's being removed. Fantastic. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to put it on a final track of this death metal song I've been working on for Song Timbre here called Cats and Dogs so far. So we've been doing for Song Timbre a, a metal song just with subscribers' pets as the vocals. <laughs> Let's uh, mess about with this one and just throw it on the end of this because some of the barks in this are really high-pitched. So we'll play it for you first so you hear a little bit of it. Okay, now notice those dogs there, right there, who just came in. That's recorded really high pitch. They're like chihuahuas. You can really hear it on that track there. So we're going to come in here. Here's our stereo out track, and we're going to add Hornet to this. Go back to our start, and uh, we want to open this up here, and we want to do a analysis of this whole track. So let's uh, bring this down, make sure we're reset, we're all good, and we'll just hit play and see how we go. Nice. Wow, listen to that filth that has been removed. Now, once again, the other thing to remember with this, none of this has been EQ'd, mastered, mixed, none of this. It's had nothing fancy added to it whatsoever. So it's going to be interesting to use this. I'm probably going to use this on the end of the mix and see how it goes. I think this is really, really cool, especially if you're looking for those. Now, you know, you don't have to overuse this. I was, that was a fair bit I had that turned up. You can use this very subtly just to remove some of those inharmonic frequencies. And, you know, for those people out there who are, not confident with uh, uh, using EQ and finding those those uh, spots that may be making your, your, your track sound a little bit crap or your vocals sound a little bit crap, this is really cool because it goes in and does it for you and finds uh, those things for you. So a really nice little thing to use. I think this is wonderful. If it's up your alley, I would suggest checking out. All right, that's our demo for today. Let's get out of here. So that is the incredibly useful and convenient Hornet Harmonic by Hornet Plugins. Free to download in demo mode until you decide to purchase the in-app purchase for $11.99. It's also available on Windows and Mac for $34.99. Are you enjoying the content here on the channel? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and by smashing the like, hitting that subscribe and ringing the bell to keep up with all of the latest demos and live streams. You can also become a member for a dollar a month or a Patreon and get your music mastered and maybe win some cool apps. It really does help out the channel. Okay, it's time to get out of here once again. Remember, do the things that make you happy, mistakes make you better, and we'll all rise together. Stay awake and let's oge!